I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt, and if there's one thing that I know, it's cleverness. That's right. I know all about cleverness. And what does it mean to be clever? That's the question. And I think a lot of people think that it's a good thing. Well, I might be inclined to agree. I also might be inclined to... See, there's a little thing on my hat. Look. Look what I found. <sighs> so, what's the difference between being clever and being, what, stupid? Um, I don't think it's that clear cut because clever is not being clever and cleverness is not the highest attainment. I don't have an ambition to be clever. At the very least, you should be clever. Cleverness is pretty run of the mill. If you're not clever, well, I'm not sure what you are, but it's not good. Cleverness always reminds me of that quote, do what you can with what you have where you are. And and it makes me think, well, you're resourceful. And maybe you can MacGyver or something, as they say. Or you can think outside the box. You can come up with a solution. You can learn something that needs to be learned fairly quick. But I wouldn't say you've mastered it. I wouldn't say a clever person is a master. And and it cleverness is typically something that would indicate intelligence. Um as opposed to stupidity. Stupidity It's amazing that it can happen. So it's so far from cleverness. It does help you understand what it is to be clever because because a stupid person is always going to be more accepting and and they're and they're going to be confident. Stupid people are very confident. Whereas intelligent people tend to be filled with a lot of doubt. And that could be because sometimes you have to question everything. And I don't know if that's a trait of a clever person. A clever person seems a lot more like a stupid person. A clever person probably seems confident in their cleverness. I, um, I'm always reminded when I think of of cleverness of the scene in in Fight Club where Brad Pitt is on the airplane with Edward Norton and and he says and Brad Pitt says to Edward Norton well that's very clever single serving friend uh, and then he says how's that working out for you and then he says Edward Norton says how's what working out for me and then Brad Pitt says, being clever. You know, how's it working out for you? And then Edward Norton says, pretty good. He says, well, then keep it up. Indicating that it's not working out that good for him. And, and Edward Norton knew it wasn't working out that good for him. And in this particular scenario, Brad Pitt was a figment of his imagination. And, and, and he's questioning his own cleverness. So he's wondering, is cleverness, you know, that self-reflection, is being clever alone enough to, to pride yourself on? And I would never pride myself on being clever. That's such a minimum standard that for figuring stuff out, it, it's, it's what people who don't know need to do. If you knew... You wouldn't need to be clever. Everybody's like, this guy's clever. Like it's some compliment. 
it is not a compliment. You're like, this guy doesn't know. But he kind of figured it out. He's clever. Clever is it's such an underhanded compliment. It's it's a word that is defined incorrectly in every dictionary. It basically says something probably about, oh, he's really quick to learn and blah blah blah. No, this is this is a this is a folly in terms of of language. This started to seem like it was a good thing, but then when you really think about this, it is not a good thing. And I know it's everybody's thinking about like um you know, cleverness only tolerates, or clever people only tolerate cleverness, or whatever the thing is about that, and it's like, okay, so people with this minimum standard only at least tolerate this other minimum standard, well, I'm not impressed, I'm more impressed with real recognizes real, like, keep it real, like, keep it real, like, look, all I am is clever, (laughs) that's all I've got going for me, um, and, and that's where we get back to that that cleverness, you know, it's it's not always clear cut good or bad because it could be used for good or bad. You could be a clever criminal. Um you could be you could be clever if you if you harbored resentment and and that and that you wanted to exact some revenge and and you could you could do that you know cleverly you could you could harbor some resentment and then you could you know hatch some clever pe- plan for revenge that doesn't mean that's good you're bad you're bad you're doing revenge um because that that's what it needs it needs to be car- compared to wisdom so um so whether you're weak or strong let's say you're weak um and your ambition is revenge and you're clever then then that's not a good thing so you're weak and you're clever, bad combo, you decide to exact revenge. And if you're strong, the opposite, if you're weak and you want, um, and you desire revenge, as opposed to if you're strong and you want to forgive, you don't need to be clever to forgive. You need to be wise to do that. So the wisdom there is is really the the difference between between being clever like you could be wise and clever so you could do something very clever you could be wise you could still being wise you could say hey i don't know everything because of my wisdom and and you presented me with something i need to figure out i'm going to be clever and figure this out i'm still overall i I wouldn't define i wouldn't pigeonhole me as a clever person but in this in this time and place with what I have, where I am, I'm going to be clever. You know, and and I think a lot of people mistake cleverness for cunning. And I think that really it's, it's wisdom that separates the clever from from the stupid because cuz let's say let's take the revenge example let's say you're a weak person you want revenge as opposed to a strong person who wants to forgive cuz it's much easier to just wish the worst for somebody than to than to be understanding it takes a lot of thought to understand things so if you want revenge that's stupid because chances are you don't stand to benefit at all from revenge so so it's a stupid ambition but let's say you're dead set on it 
and then you you enact it and and you did it in a clever way well then you're just you've just not only were you you stupid you just took your stupidity to the next level so you were stupid now you used cleverness to your disadvantage so now you're just really stupid so <laughs> So that's a prime example of cleverness not being good. In fact, it's the opposite of that. Um, whereas wisdom seems to always be good. So that's like the highest level of, of, of mastery or whatever you want to call it. Cleverness is just, it's fleeting and it seems like it works when it works. And the, the question, how is it working out for you, is a good question because it, of how temporary it seems and how case-specific cleverness is. Cleverness isn't, if you said this person's clever, then either you don't fully understand them or you think that they're incapable. So I would never be inclined to give that as a compliment to a capable person. And if somebody said it about me, I would assume that they were trying to pay me a compliment. But at the same time, my reaction would be this person um, either thinks I'm not capable of anything and just happen to be clever enough to pull whatever they decided to deem me clever. I just I was able to pull that off or that. Um, Well, I would read a lot more into it, but I would know that chances are that's something that people say in an attempt to pay a compliment because it started to be, um, it started to gain traction as a very positive thing, being clever. And, and I'm an optimist. I hate to say, hey, let's, let's ratchet this back. Let's realize this is not a positive thing because it can be. I think it's one of those words that needs to be considered as open to a lot of interpretation. Cleverness could be good or bad. And and it's something that that can imply resourcefulness. It's something that can imply intelligence. It's also something that could be um it could be weaponized and it could be used in a way that and so could intelligence intelligence again it's not always good or bad it could be weaponized and uh i don't think anybody would say that that the heinous political leaders of the past who rose to power and you know commanded the armies of the world were unintelligent but i would say it would be very hard to say that these whichever genocidal maniac you want to pick was wise because they weren't wise. And I think if people start striving for wisdom, then every step in that direction is a step in the direction of not just knowledge, but the understanding and the application because because just knowing things is different from knowing how, when, why, um, and what, or whatever, how to use them, when to use them. Those, those are the things that, that you really need to think about, not cleverness. If you're striving for cleverness, I mean, look up a video on life hacks. <laughs> You'll be clever. Practice some minute to win it games, okay? Look up the 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 best strategies for some minute to win it games. You will look very clever, but honestly, that's not that's not something that's going to be overly impressive. So strive for wisdom. If you get anywhere near that, you're probably way ahead of the game. And and there's always more to learn. So I'd say question everything. If you love cleverness and you want to bring up a point why I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I am always I am always open to changing my mind about things. 
this is just how I feel about cleverness. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> I think it's okay. It's pretty mediocre. So if you want to change my mind, you think cleverness is great, let me know. If you agree with me, great. I'll have an inflated ego and leave your comments for that one too. And if you just want to say, hey, how you doing? Well, leave a comment for that one too. <laughs> Honestly, you could comment anything in there because it's probably going to be better than half of the links that everybody keeps dropping in there that are for highly questionable websites. <laughs> Never click any of the links that anybody's dropping in my comment section. I don't approve. But like I said, strive for wisdom. Oh yeah! <laughs>